Hi, my name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to um, save Delphi projects and files. So I'm, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be saving it in these videos and how you can save it as well. So what I would suggest is you create a folder where you can save all of your Delphi projects. So I've created um, a folder here called, called source code. But you can create one named anything you want. For instance, um, you can you can create one called Delphi Programming um, for uh, for us beginners in FireMonkey course. Okay, and then inside of that folder, you'll want to create a subfolder for all of the videos. So here I have uh, I have already created a folder for all of the previous videos. Uh, okay, so let's go and create a folder for this new video. So folder four point one. And this video is called Saving Projects and Files. Okay, and then inside of this folder, we will be saving all of the files from our Delphi project. So let's go and create a Delphi project. Okay, so as you can remember, you can create you can create a Delphi project in three ways. From the tool palette, you go to Delphi projects and you select the multi device application here, or you choose it from the projects in the start here tab, or you go to the main menu in file, new, and multi device. So now let's go and create a multi device application. And we are, we are going to be choosing a blank application. We press OK. Okay, and here our application is now created. Okay, so let's start off. Um, in the project manager, you can um, rename and change your files. So here you can see it starts off by saying project1.exe, and this is basically your your project's name. So I'm going. So I like to change my my um, project's name and files names in the project manager. Let's give it a name. I'm going to be calling mine. Uh, cool. Let's call it Delphi underscore course underscore video underscore four underscore one and I'm going to be naming all of my videos and projects like this okay, and you'll see it it instantly changes the name here as well as here in the title bar here and in object and in object inspector okay so now our project is officially named Delphi underscore scores underscore video and that four one okay Next off, we'll move to the build configuration. This is um, when it's when it's set to debug, it means that you have debugging enabled, and we will look into debugging later on. But debugging is basically where you can um, look at all of your code um, line by line to look for errors. So it compiles a bit slower, and when you want, so you basically use debug when you are developing the application, and the release is used. When the application is done, developed, and you want to pub publish to a publish the application online, then you choose release. Okay, but for this videos, we will be using debug. I think most of the time. The next off, we have the target platforms. Here you can choose for which platform you want to develop to. We are we are going to be developing for thirty two bit, thirty two bit Windows in all of the videos, at least in the start. For in the first 100 to 100 to 150 videos, because the, the starter edition of Delphi only has um, this one, okay. And then here you see a unit one dot pass. So this is the um, forms files, okay. So the unit so, so the unit one dot pass is the source code is for this unit. So you can see here this is the code in this unit, and then the unit one dot fmx is the forms file so if I click view as text you can see here this is the code for the form let's go back to view as form and let's rename this so I like to I like to name my units as follow I start by saying frm and then so if frm stands for form so I'm basically telling myself that, that this is a form as it is a um, file for a form and then I simply Give this form a name. So we are. I'm going to be naming. I, I'm going to be naming mine home. Because this will this will basically be the starting page. So I'm going to be calling it home. And the underscore view. View is just there 
to tell me that this is a unit. Um, then I press enter. I can see it automatically changes it for both these files. And I can also see it changes changes here in the tabs next, next to the welcome page. And, and if you go to the source code of this form for the here, you'll see it also changed it here at the top. Okay, so now let's go and save it. So you can save it in, mul in multiple ways as well. You can either click here, which is save all, and also shift control S, or you can go to file and just click on save all. Okay, so now, so now let's save our project in the new folder which we created. Source code and 4.1. Okay, and yet you'll see it, ask, uh, it asks us to save the Delft unit. We want, we want to save it. That, that, that now basically saved the form and the form code for us. And this is the, the, the Delphi project, okay? We, we want to save it as well. And now our project is saved. So let's go to the file. And here you can see it basically throwed out throwed out five files, five files for us. So it saved five files. Okay, so this two these two files are for our forms. So th those files are for this form. And then these two files are for the, are for the project. So if you want to open this Delphi project, you'll you will be double clicking on this file. Okay, so let's go back to Delphi and let's compile. So you, so you can compile um, without debugging or with debugging. I am going to be de I'm compiling with debugging almost every time, so I can press F9. And when you compile an application, it basically checks all of the code, and if it's correct, then it, su then it successfully compiles, and then it, it executes the program. As you can see, here's our exe, this, e this exe, now executed. And you can close it by clicking on the close button, or this red square. Okay, so if we go back now to the folder, you'll see it now has a Win32 folder, and inside of that, it has a debug folder. That is because we compiled using debug and win32. Okay, and then inside of that folder, we have our exe. So this is now our application. And when you want to pub publish an app, you'll be giving them this exe, but just make, just make sure you give them the release exe. You can open this app and you will see, see that it simply just works, as you can see. So yes guys, um, that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to save Delphi projects and files, as well as how to organize your Delphi projects. I will be doing it this way for all of my videos. And remember, you can also get all of my files from the GitHub page. I'll have the link in, it, in the description of um, this video. And yes, thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you in any way, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go and check out my social media links here on the left side of the screen. You can go and follow me on my social media. And yes, guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.